23,000 cases of coronavirus, the car industry wants changes in how the state is responding to this pandemic. Pennsylvania is just one of three states banning dealers from selling cars during the crisis. Owners of car dealerships say they're not only losing business, but they're losing it to neighboring states. Matt Stuckey is the CEO of Stuckey Automotive. Uh, Mr. Stuckey, appreciate your time today. So your issue here is number one, Governor, we don't think you should have done this to us. And number two, Governor, now that you have done this to us, we're losing business to our neighbors, right? Yeah, well, thanks for having me on, John. Uh, just one quick question for you. Uh, what state do you live in? I live in the state of Maryland. So there you go. So folks in Pennsylvania have to drive to Maryland to, to buy a car currently uh, based on the restrictions we've been put under. So, hey, look, we're not, we're not asking for business as usual. We understand this is our first time through all of this, um, but you, you hit it on your opening there. We're one of three states in the nation that are not allowing folks to buy cars right now. And, you know, uh, the car dealers in Pennsylvania really feel like that's uh, something that is an essential service that we should be able to provide to our customers. And, and I assume, I, I assume let, me, let, me just, let me just jump in because we're short time a little bit here, but I assume sure. you're willing, you know, we'll social distance, we'll wear face, face masks or anything we have to do. We just want to do business. Is that your point? Absolutely. Yeah, we have a plan in place to do that. We can start that tomorrow. Uh, and so when you've appealed to the governor, what's the answer back? No, you have to wait? Uh, well, there's been a waiver process that's set up in Pennsylvania. It's, it's not really worked. Uh, it's certainly not used in our favor. It's been very dysfunctional. Uh, we are obviously working through our, our state legislature and, and our, our representatives uh, from both sides of the aisle are, are in tune with this situation. Uh, they're on our side, so we're really hoping for a change in this soon, but it's been over three weeks now. Um, and we've had multiple customers that have contacted us that have tried to buy a car and have driven to another state. So, you know, it really is defeating the purpose of what we're trying to do to, to limit the spread of this virus and to try to keep everybody safe. I thank you. Appreciate your time. We'll watch this one of the many economic ripple effects, if you will, playing out. We'll keep in touch as it goes forward. Really appreciate your time today. Best of luck. Thank you, sir. And thanks for joining us today. We'll see you back.